Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Book Chat. I'm your host, author Vivian E. Moore. I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I hope you actually got outside today and did something fun, you know, because it's fall, officially fall. Although here where I am, it doesn't feel like it. It still feels like we're, you know, deep into summertime, but that's okay. Uh, Still, you know, it's a lovely day because we're still here. We're still alive. We're still breathing. So that's every reason to get out and enjoy this day. And so I don't want to hold you uh, for too long. So that way it won't keep you from getting out and just having a good time. Maybe you want to go out to dinner today or just, you know, go take a walk across the bridge or go toss a Frisbee in the park or something. Whatever it is you want to do, I don't want to keep you from it. So we're going to get right to today's show. So the title of today's show is Great Expectations. And the topic is passion versus ambition. By now, most of us have read Charles Dickens' um, classic tale of great expectations. Now, um, it's uh, this is one of the books that was probably uh, on your reading list. It was a re- probably a required uh, book to read uh, when you were in high school. And, uh, and it's one of my favorite books too. I've, I've seen the movie, I've seen different versions of the movie, but I, I think the book is better. But anyway, this story has so many teachable moments. Um, and it was written back in 1860, but it still applies to modern day principles. It just shows you how well written the book is and how well thought out it was, um, that it carries over, uh, transcends, uh, from, uh, you know, from the, from the, uh, early 1900s. What well, from the 19th century, put it that way, to the 21st century. So there you go. But, you know, we all have great expectations. But how important is it to us that we achieve our dreams without getting lost in ambition, without the added expense of losing our moral compass because of social climate? So if you read the book, you know that there was quite a bit of that going on. Uh, if, you, um, if you're familiar with the characters um, in the book, um, then, uh, of Finn and, um, and Estella. And we know Estella's character was, she was groomed, uh, you know, from childhood to, um, you know, to, to be a social climber pretty much. But anyway, you know, this story has many takeaways, but the overall aim of any study of character is loyalty and conscience and passion and ambition are, they're very they they are two very different realities, but it, used together can be beneficial, you know, to, to our goals or, or to your goals. Now, ambition is driven by passion. We all know that. And, and it is the kickstarter that motivates us to pursue our dreams, but we should never get so lost in the purpose that we lose sight of our passion. Once this happens, you'll take unnecessary shortcuts to get what you want faster. Haste makes waste. My mother always told me that. She said, haste makes waste. And when I was a kid, I didn't understand what that meant. But as I got older, (laughs) boy, did I learn a a very, very uh, good lesson about that. Uh, But anyway, it's something you should remember, you know, on your quest um, to fulfillment And, um, you know, ambition should never divert our passions. You know, that hunger that drives us, um, that can be, it can be all consuming at times, but it, but still, you know, take notice of the checkpoints to keep us from detouring too far to the edge of reasoning. One of my favorite quotes in, in the book, Great Expectations, 
um, is I have been bent and broken, but hopefully into a better shape. Now, these words are so crucial to those of us who place our egos over rationality and to understand, you know, that there will be pitfalls and and life lessons learned along the way um, that help to shape and define us as better individuals. And sometimes we will be marked, but not in a bad way and also healed. We shouldn't get lost in ambition because it's only half of the equation to success. Also remember what the true meaning of this word signifies. You know, Finn and Estella are great examples of what it means to lose oneself in selfishness without thought of the consequences. And sometimes we do the same things, um, you know, when we, we, we all have those great expectations, you know, we, um, we dream big, you know, and, uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, on the same token, um, you know, when you have those great expectations, Um, You need to realize that sometimes there will be even greater failures. But uh, someone told me last week, you know, they said that it's not the fails you count, um, but the wins. And I'm like, wow, that makes all the sense in the world. And I love that, you know, because it, it, it applies to today's discussion as well. You know, passion versus ambition. And, and a lot of times we do, we do get that confused. Um, you know, Passion is something that, um, you know, it, it does fuels us. It does motivate us, um, you know, to be ambitious. But the thing of it is, is that we should never get lost in the ambition. We should never let it outweigh the passion because then you have to ask yourself, am I doing this because I'm still passionate about it? Or am I doing it because I'm so deep into my, into myself, my selfishness that, you know, that I, I don't care about anything else around me. You know, all I want to do is win and winning, you know, is not, it's a good feeling. I'll tell you that, you know, to win is good, but, but you need to know that when you win, um, you know, you want to feel good behind it, um, and, and not winning because, you stepped on someone else's toes to get there or you burned uh, bridges behind you to get there. You know, that this is what happens when you let ambition take the place of everything else. And, uh, you know, like I said, those two things work together. Passion and ambition works together. And when we lose sight of one or the other, then, you know, it, that's that's never good. Um, you know, it's, it's always good to have a healthy balance of everything. You can always have too much of one thing and not enough of the other. But when you have a good balance, then you know that you're moving in the right direction. Um, you know, I, I when I was thinking today of what I could talk about and I was like, have I ever done a st- done a, a show about great expectations? Of course, I had to do a search because I've done so many shows, too. I can't keep up with all the titles and because um, I've been doing this now for a couple of years. So, you know, sometimes they may overlap, but I want to make sure that what I talked about today wasn't something that I had talked about before. Although I do talk about things that I have talked about before because, you know, they never go away and, and they're always prevalent. And you should always, you know, if you can bring up that discussion, you know, as many times as possible. But I definitely want to talk, I wanted to talk about passion versus ambition because, you know, I see a lot of, um, a lot of, of artists, writers, and, 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 you know, people who have just extraordinary talent and, um, and those, you know, that they, they do these things and they come so easy for them. And then you have the ones who really have to work at what they do. Um, you know, maybe it's not their calling, but it's their passion. It's something that they really, truly want to do. They've got their hearts and their minds set on doing it. And so those are the ones that I think get lost in ambition. They lose track of the love of what they do. They lose track of the love of the craft. You know, it's like, you know, I, I don't care about what I'm doing. I just want to win. I just want this to be the best. And, you know, you, you should always care about what you do because you want others to care about it as well. And believe me, they can tell, you know, when, um, when, when enough love didn't go into something, you know, it's like a meal, um, going back to that haste makes waste. When I was growing up and, um, I always enjoyed cooking, you know, I was, anything I was interested in, um, you know, I always paid close attention to. And so my mother was the type, you know, she cooked every meal from scratch. You know, we, we rarely ate anything that came from a restaurant or anything that came packaged, you know, even down to bread. 
Um, and so I would sit in the kitchen with her and I would watch her make these different meals and, uh, you know, and, and learn her recipes and things like that. So, and she would tell me, she said that, that, that was one of the things she said that haste makes waste. You know, if you rush through this, um, you know, it, it may look right, but it's not going to taste the same. So, and, and, you know, and like, like I said, I learned a valuable lesson because, you know, you can't rush through anything. You take your time when you take your time and you do everything right. I mean, the tails are there, you know, the tails are there in the finished product. So, um, so you definitely want to always, um, you know, pair passion and ambitions together, especially if you have great expectations, because, you know, that's a part of life. We all do, you know, there's very few people in, in the, in this world who, uh, don't, that, who don't expect anything. And usually it's the ones that are downtrodden, you know, it's like they've had their spirit, um, you know, their spirit has just been, oh my gosh, just, just, you know, obliterated pretty much. And so they have no expectations at all. You know, they don't even care or don't even know which that applies to all of us, you know, if we will get to see tomorrow, but for them, you know, it's almost like a blessing because, you know, they're so down in the dumps to where, you know, nothing matters anymore. You know, they've, they've lost their passion. They have no ambition and they have no expectations, but, you know, we, we never want to get to that, to that level. We, we never want to get to the point to where nothing in this life matters anymore. Um, you know, and, and that's one of the things, uh, about doing this show. I'm passionate about doing this show. I'm passionate about writing, you know, I'm passionate about doing a lot of things because those things are in my heart to do, you know, they're in my, they're in my mind to do. And, uh, and I want to make sure that I do them right. You know, I just don't want to rush through, um, you know, and don't want to, uh, ever not put my best foot forward. Um, because you know, this is what I do is like my logo. It has my imprint on it. And, and I want people to know me by my work and the quality of my work. I want them to know that, you know, that I put my heart and soul into what I do because it's important to me, you know, not so much to please me, but to make sure that, you know, what I'm presenting to them is palatable. You know, it's just like that meal that, that my mother was telling me about, you know, you want to make sure that what you put, what you put forward is your best, you know, you don't ever want to just throw something together and then just dish it out and think that, you know, that people will accept it and, and then get upset when they don't. But you know, that is when you are in that, in that, that, that self state of mind, you're just so selfish to where it doesn't matter. It's like, well, I want to get this done and, you know, and you're going to like it regardless. And you never want to, you never want to wind up in that place because that's not a good place to be. But anyway, uh, we all have great expectations and our passions and our, and our ambitions should always complement each other because in the end, great expectations are what we all look forward to, but without sacrificing our passion and self-worth. All right, folks. So that's all we have for today. But before I let you go, I want to make sure that I give you out these URLs so you can stay in contact with the show. And I also want to make mention of the fact that um, although I haven't had guests, I, I don't think I had any guests this month. Uh, and I think I had a few for the month of August. I'm not quite sure. Um, but, uh, but we will have guests for October and November. So I've started booking those. And so I'm looking forward to, um, introducing you to some more great writers, more great authors and more great people that are in the industry, um, that do more than just write uh, write books. They do the behind the scenes type of stuff. So I want to make sure that, uh, that I get those guests on the show so they can t uh, tell you more about all of the things that goes into, um, you know, writing and becoming an author. But anyway, first of all, let me give you the first URL, um, in this course to Spreaker is HTTPS colon four slash four slash www.spreaker.com four slash user four slash author Vivian anymore. Um, also you can, you can follow me like me on Facebook and also on Twitter and Instagram. Um, you can just type in my name, Vivian anymore and, uh, and you'll, you'll find me. I have, uh, several uh, Facebook pages and you can find me on Twitter at God's property 46 and on Instagram at pro at God's property 51. 
You can also check out my website, which is at https colon forward slash forward slash um, www.vivianemore.com. And also, if you want to um, look at my blog, uh, you can go there at https colon forward slash forward slash vivianemore.blogspot.com. And uh, today's transcript will be there if you want to read that one along with all the other ones. And also, um, if you missed today's live show, you can listen to the recorded version on, of course, Spreaker. Uh, you can listen to it on YouTube, um, iTunes. Uh, you can listen to it on, um, on, um, what's the other one? Uh, uh, Spotify, YouTube, and I can't think of the, I can't remember the other ones, but anyway, those are all the ones where, uh, you can listen to the show. And of course, tomorrow is worship day. So I hope you're planning on going to church. I hope you plan on taking some family members, some friends, some neighbors, and by all means, take some children with you and tell someone that you love them because tomorrow is not promised today may be the only chance you get to say that so i love you and i hope you love me back until the next time you hear my voice god bless you and goodbye loved what you've heard on this week's episode well the answer is simple it would mean the world to us if you could head over to itunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.